welcome to my channel where today i am going to show how to change the keyboard for sony vio sdf 152a1 ww laptop Now I am going to open the laptop. First you have to remove the battery. Then hard disk, you have to open hard disk casing. Then you have to remove the RAM casing. After that, you have to remove all the screws on the back of the laptop. Remove the CD drive. You have to be very careful while pulling out the CD drive. Then there will be two screws on the hard disk. You have to be very careful while removing the hard disk. Slowly you have to remove the hard disk. You can see the new keyboard. This is the one we are going to replace. After removing the screw, slowly you have to open with your nail or any opener. I am going to use the hand glove tweezer. You have to be very careful while uh, while opening the corner, remove the two connectors. After opening, you have to remove all the cables connected on the motherboard. You have to remove all the cables one by one. First, you have to remove the Wi-Fi card by removing those two antenna cables. After that, CD-ROM drive strip is there. You have to remove that. And display on our switch. Display cable. On our switch. Strip. While removing the strip, you have to be very careful. You should not tamper the cable uh, connector or uh, strips. See, power, power connector is there. You have to remove that. Slowly you have to remove. See, you can see, you can see some uh, screws on the motherboard. Remove those screws. Use a magnet uh, so that the screws you won't miss any screws. Remove the screws. After removing the screw, 
slowly have to you have to be very careful while coming in the my world you have to be very careful if there is any strip or any any cable cut connector you have to be very careful with that after that you have to remove the you have to remove the studs very carefully i am using i am using my uh, screw driver to remove the studs before that you have to remove the hinges and uh, the connector jack of the power connector You have to be careful while uh, removing the motherboard and all those things. Remove the screen and keep keep the screen safely. Then use the screwdriver. open the seal very carefully it should not damage the casing be careful it should not damage the casing slowly have to open the way i am making this video is this this laptop is little little different type of laptop the keyboard is sealed uh, sealed so this laptop comes with a sealed keyboard so you have to be careful while opening opening the sealed casing the keyboard is sealed under a steel plate so if you open this steel plate then only you can remove the keyboard so after removing all the seal remove the plate you can see the keyboard the keyboard is also sealed so we have to slightly pull the keyboard uh, should be very careful uh, should not uh, tamper the casing slowly gently you have to pull the key keyboard 
she slowly pull the keyboard out you can see the casing you have to handle it carefully because uh, if if you apply more pressure the casing will break so you have to be very careful yeah keyboard came out yeah. you can see the casing see that frame you have to be very careful otherwise the frame will break so yeah now i am uh, fixing the new keyboard see you can see the stud and uh, you can uh, use a soldering and and you can uh, seal that as i am doing see one by one you have to seal the stud otherwise what happened is the keyboard will will become loose and uh, while uh, typing the keyboard will go will go in so so for that only you have to seal the seal the stud by using a soldering iron so you can see what i am doing watch carefully what i am doing so you have to see in the keyboard you have to fix the plate See, you have to fix it properly so that it has to fix on the stud and press the plate and seal that stud by using a soldering iron. It also you have to be very careful. You should not, should not apply more heat. If you apply more heat, the casing will get damaged. be careful while uh, while sealing the stud so you should not apply more heat you can see that that stud has broken so that side you have to seal this Slightly press the plate by using a screwdriver, and you can seal. It will be easy for you. You can see as I am doing. You have to do very carefully. After that, fix the back cover of that. on of pcb
connect the strip very carefully. You should not tamper either the strip or the connector. You have to be very careful while fixing the connector. Connect the power cable. Fix the power cable first. And the screen with hinges. Lay the cable very carefully. Now I'm going to fix the motherboard. You have to be very careful with the strip. You can see the strip. Slowly connect the strip. You have to be very careful that the motherboard is properly fixed on the board. Connect all the connectors. Screw the motherboard on the plate. You have to be very careful. Lay the cable, lay the power cable very carefully, it should not stuck while closing, it should not uh, stuck in the casing.
verificar. While fixing the antenna, you have to be very careful. You should not break the clip. Fix the run. Now I'm going to close the casing. You have to be very careful. It has to be locked properly. You have to see the corner. That uh, audio and video connector, sorry, audio and uh, from, uh, mic connector. Lock the casing carefully. Yeah. Now we can screw the casing. You have to fix uh, uh, the four screws on the four corners of the laptop. I'm going to fix the hard disk. So you have to be very careful. Insert the notch and slowly gently pull it so it will get connected. Put the two screws. Then connect the CD drive. Insert it, screw it. Insert the CD drive and screw it. After close the RAM casing and the hard disk casing, screw it tightly. Name 
make sure before putting the battery make sure you have fixed all the screws and finally you connect the battery now we can switch on the laptop Yeah, done. Now the laptop is on. Now we have to check the keyboard by open MS Office or uh, any MS Office bad file bad. A word or a notepad or anyone to check the keyboard. Now I am going to open a MS Office Word. See here, we can check the keyboard keys one by one. Now I am typing the keys. Yeah, it's working. So check all the keys one by one. Yeah, it's done. So thanks for watching my video. Please like my video and subscribe my video so that you can uh, get the latest updates. Uh, thanks for watching.